everything is alright. Mm. Everything is fine. Ah. How can you tell me everything is alright? And your face is like this. It's written all over you. Well, what do you want to say? I mean, what do you want me to do? This is three months. Three good months I will not be paid. To relax, they will pay you. That is what you keep telling me. Relax, they will pay you. My question is when? It's like you've joined this uh, governor with his wing political statement. Oh, yes. I mean, how do you expect me to survive? How do you expect a lecturer that has not been paid for three months to go? A family man, a breadwinner. Oh, God will punish this man that calls himself a governor. God will punish him. <sighs> You don't use such words on your governor. Remember the Bible encourages us to pray for our leaders. That's exactly what I'm doing. Pray for him. Besides, the Bible never gave us a prayer point. That man does not deserve to be pitied at all. I am not the only one saying this prayer, mind you. Virtually all the civil servants are praying for him. And the prayer point, your guess, is as good as mine. Have you heard? What? Have you heard that pensioners were slumping while they were queuing for their pension? What? Oh yes, some of them even died. Jesus Christ. Now tell me, how do you expect pensioners to cope? Because he has not paid them for seven months. Anyway, I have decided on what to do. And what is your decision if I may ask? Very simple. Mm -hmm. My my handouts will now be sold for 3,000 naira. Yes. And less. If you want to make an A in my course, you rob my back with 5,000 naira. Hey! God will not forbid. Ah, ah. Honey, have you forgotten whom you are? You are a Christian, an elder in the church. Ah, you shouldn't allow anybody to hear this, please. <laughs> oh, please spare me that. Spare me that. God knows I'm broke. And He knows I need money. Okay? Besides, my colleagues are doing it. Oh, yes. You don't compare yourself with the world. You are light, okay? And the Bible tells us not to conform to this world. Spare me that, please. But I know why you're talking like this. It's because you've not been old. Very soon, the landlord will come knocking for a house rent. Now, what are we going to tell him? Now, tell me. What do people say when they see me harassed? They will say, a reputable man in the church, a lecturer, cannot afford to pay his house rent. Is everything all right? How can everything be all right? When my husband is not happy. He's not happy and I'm not happy. Pastor, he hardly eats these days. Because for the past three months, Pastor, three good months, they have not paid them salary. It's affecting him. And you, you know my husband very well. He's this kind of man that, that likes to face his responsibility as a man. That's all right, Sister Jane. It's okay. I, I want you to be a very strong faith, that is stronger faith in the Lord. As good Lord, you can be for There's nothing you cannot do. Your father will be paid. Meanwhile, I have to go and do prayers. Yes, Pastor. Okay. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you very much. Thank you. I called you here to give you a meritorious accolade. A meritorious accolade? I still don't get you, sir. Okay, let me explain. You see, uh, ever since you got into this company, we have been making tremendous outputs. Our income has tripled. You've been saying that, sir. Thank you very much. Our tremendous output is attributed to you. 
diligent and smart in the Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're very welcome. And as a result of this, um, we have met the, I met with the um, board members and um, we have unanimously decided to, um, yes, we have um, decided to promote you and double your salary. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, Jesus. Sir, I, I, I really appreciate this, sir. Thank you. It's alright. Oh, Thank you. I really appreciate this. Thank you, sir. Did you send me? The only news is that uh, the strike was about to back on the governor hotel. Are you serious? Yes, I'm very, very serious. He is even threatening that anybody that does not go back to his work, he will sack the person with immediate effect. That is so callous of him. I mean, how could he expect us to continue like that? Eh? No salary. What is the joy? What is the happiness? What is the motivation? What are you working for? My dear. If not the little, little money I have got from the students, from handout and the textbook and sorting, I don't even know what uh, would have become the fate of my family by now. That man will never come out for any post again. He can never come out to contest any public office again because I will not vote for him and I know nobody will. <laughs> Look at you. He does not depend on your food. Whether you vote him or not, he will still want his way to any office that he wants. That's the man for you. Never. It will never happen unless there is no more God in heaven. Okay. Not when everybody is angry with him. Hmm. I know that God. I know that God one day will hear the cry of the poor masses. Amen. It. Amen. As for you, my friend, mm -hmm. I'll keep warning you and I'll keep advising you to desist from this your dubious character towards these poor students because there will be a day of reckoning. My dear, everyone is guilty the president, the governor, the VC. Look, the entire system is corrupt. If God will punish, you will punish every one of us together. Let me ask you, do you know how much I spend for my children's school fees and even my rate? Look, if not for the certain, <laughs> by now I would have been in the village with my family. And you think it will continue like this? Of course not. We pray for them. See, mm -hmm. I know that God in heaven is coming with his changing power. Definitely he will turn things around okay. and everything will change for good. It's okay, uh, let's wait for the change. Eh? But I will ask you, I will advise you as a good friend of mine, join us in the certain. Otherwise, and the way you know it, hunger will send you to the village, you and your family. Uh, I will send you to the weak state and strong. Okay. Yes. You are the weak and you are strong. Eh? Uh, I am the strong. <laughs> Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you for the, this promotion that you gave my wife. Amen. And we also thank you in a special way for using my wife to bless our family. We say may all thanksgiving be ascribed unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. Watch the heart of our Amen. 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 Thank you, my baby. I love you. So how are you? I'm fine, sir. And you? Uh, well, 
mean, I'm fine, as you can see. It's just that these people have refused to pay us our salary. Don't worry about that. They will soon pay you. Well, I hope so. So, my dear, uh, as you can see, I'm very busy. So, I would advise you go straight to the point. Okay, sir. It's nothing much. Just that I saw my first semester master's results and I discovered I made a B. So, I came with this token to appreciate. Eric, yeah, keep your money because I won't take it from you. But well, yes. Why, if I may ask? You actually studied very hard, and that earned you a high grade in my course. And so I don't see a reason why your success should be attributed to me. Besides, if you hadn't studied hard, you would fail woefully. You know me very well, I don't give room for sentiments. So I would advise you to keep your money and keep studying hard. But you told me that you have not been paid. No. When have you become the government that pay me salary? You are beginning to get on my nerves. I'm so sorry about that. Have a nice day. I'll keep studying that. Okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. How frustrating life would have been without you. No, it's okay. We give our thanks to God. You know? He knows the end from the beginning. Mm -hmm. I'm only a vessel he's using to bless our family. Yeah, honestly. And this vessel I really appreciate so much. Because a life would have been miserable for me in the hands of that idiot that calls himself our governor. Mm. You go again. You know, I don't like it whenever you insult him. Hmm? You know, God can still use him. Listen, the Bible says that the heart of a king is in the hands of God, and like water, he torments them the way he likes. Okay? Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. All right. I'm really sorry for using that word. You know I love you so much. I love you more. Mm -hmm. I have a point for you. Wow. A poem. When did you write it? Oh, I did not write it. I have it in my head. Mm, sorry, sir. I've forgotten you are a lecturer. Oh, you need to so, stop shitting me. <laughs> let's hear it. Okay. About your friend, Mike. Mike? Yes. What about him? Mm. What you tell me about him makes me to see him as a despicable person. Mm. I detest him, especially because of the way he treats the students. I know what you're trying to say. But the truth of the matter is that Mike and I are not friends and will never be. He's just a colleague in my workplace and you don't expect me to keep malice with him, do you? No, 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 not at all. Just that I want you to try and... I understand. I know what you are trying to say, my love. And don't you worry yourself, because I'm fine. Trust me. So enough about my, enough of my friends. Let's talk about us. <laughs> Alright, so tell me. What do I prepare for him? Why are you running as if uh, someone is after you? I hope all is. 
this world. Come on, talk to me. What's the problem? There is a problem. It's about the course I wrote. What about the course? Not 343. I wrote it as a carryover course. Okay. And I still did not write to her. I'm afraid I don't want to fail. I help you. What do you want me to do exactly? The lecturer is also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want you to talk to me. Anything, whatever it will cost, I'm ready to do it. Please. You, you, you always sound friendly every time, okay? That's no problem. What are friends for? Uh, see what I can do to help you out. Yeah. Someday, very soon, I give all things to God. The Bible says that promotion comes from God, yeah. and when He lifts you up, no man, I mean, no man can put you down. Yeah, and I don't believe because you are a visible testimony of what God can do. Say that again. <laughs> can we celebrate this? <laughs> this I mean, week. now, now, yes. <laughs> I want to do so. What do you want? Whiskey. I know you like you like champagne, but I, I like what Lizzie. Oh, sorry, you forgotten. But uh, I don't do that. Let me have some yeah. whiskey. Please. Excuse me. Let's <laughs> start from soft drink. Hello. Oh, oh, stop it. Don't go there. What's that? Whiskey. Shall I ask you? This one. 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 This my cousin wrote your course and... Did you say your cousin? Uh, 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 John, I am sorry about that. I have a cousin in this school. She wrote your course. Mark 3, 4, 3. And she came telling me she didn't write well. Well, if she didn't write well, she should study harder, register the course and write it better. John, what are friends for? Uh, you mean there's nothing you can do about that? We're talking about my cousin here. Can't you just... Motivated. In fact, this is the second time she's writing your course. Mm -hmm. Mike, I'm really surprised you came to my office to waste your speed over this kind of issue. When you know me very well, I cannot do what you're asking me to. You know I am a Christian. See, if your cousin did not write the course well, she should study harder like every other student and write it better. And if she fails again, it is your duty as an uncle, like you claim, to encourage her to do better. Period. Uh, yeah, yes, I know you are a good Christian, no doubt about that. Uh, but uh, what are friends for? Just help me and do something about that. John, please. Mike, please. I don't want to discuss this issue any further. My man, once again, you're welcome to my office. Well, I will say I'm happy for you, bro. Why, if I may ask? Why, if you may ask? Well, I'll tell you. Listen, in case you don't know, you are one of the youngest managers that I have seen on the surface of this earth. So, why would I be happy for you? Well, um, I can say that I started all this quite early at a very tender age. So I had to. Uh... Sir. Oh. Sir. I'm going to work. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Uh, I will send for you later to dispatch it. Yeah. Hey. I can also see you have a uh, P 
beautiful, sophisticated girls in your company too. Well, I can say it's the whole story. And I thank you for that. Well, I'll advise you to be careful. I just hope your relationship with them is strictly on business. All works and no play makes Jack a dog boy. Yeah. I play with all of them, except one that is proven stubborn. One proven stubborn? Was that the one I met here the last time? Yes, Jane. Are you okay? Come on, man, you told me that woman is married! Forget about marriage. She even told me that her husband is a lecturer. I know the way these lecturers live and sleep with students. She needs help. I want to help her. Come on. Well, it's your game. You play it the way you want. So, tell me, how are you planning on getting her since you told me she's proving her to get? Cassidy, you want to learn my skills. <laughs> Why? By the time I am done, I'll let you know. I will give you the good news. <laughs> okay, I answer. Okay, all the same, I'm happy for you, bro. Cassie! about you. What do you mean? I mean, you do virtually everything. As if you don't have a husband. You don't even ask that society lady. I told you time and time and time that I'm not a society lady, okay? I'm a Christian. A heavenly citizen. Oh, stop. Let's face the reality. You do the cooking. You do your house chores. You even do school work and you still want to go for a PTA meeting. Damn. Enough, Lizzie. I said enough. I really appreciate your concern, okay? But please, I would like to give you this warning to stay away from my family issues. Yes, I love my husband and I can even do more for him because my Bible says I should submit to him. Please, if you don't mind, I would like to take my leave now because you are really getting on my nerves. Please, I would love to lock my office. Who's that coming? You have to know, sir. Yeah, who are you and why are you dressed up like this? I'm sorry, sir. My name is Linda. The one Mr. Mike told you about the routine accounts. Mike told me you were his cousin, but never told me you were a shameless stripper. He doesn't feel like women. But are you sure he is biologically okay? I mean, as a man. Look at me now. What other men are dying for? Mm -hmm. Do you know how many men that want me or that they anybody? That is what I gave to this stupid idiot freely, willingly. See, the major concern now is I don't want to feed that cause. How do we go about don't it? Worry. Okay, okay. Just see me tomorrow. I'll tell you what to do. But uh, uh, you give me today to say yes. Yes.
Nothing, sir. Nothing. Come on, say something. Nothing, just take care of it. No, 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 no. Don't tell me that. I have to get you something. So what can I get for you? Anything. Just to get anything, sir. Anything except something. Sir, uh, okay, I'll get some. Yes, Alright, that's cool. Okay, uh, yeah, keep this in the office. Okay, sir. Not that it's those fruit. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Alright then. She has not done anything to show that she earns more than me. Don't be the same. Mr. John, whether you believe me or not, I've told you the simple truth. Suppress her by all means. Otherwise, the experience will be your greatest teacher. Anyway, I have a class with my teachers to let me. Look, Jane, um, you don't have to rush to give me an answer. I just want you to know that I am crazy about you. I care about you. I want to take care of you. I will do anything for you. Just know that I love you. Look around me. Just look around me. Can't you see that I love you? Sir, apart from the fact that I'm a married woman, I am a Christian and is against my belief. Sir, I suggest you expunge that concept of love from your mind because it can't work. I think I've made my point. Yes, but I... Please, sir. I was busy in the office before you sent for me. I beg to take my leave, sir. I'll get you. 
I will get you. I will get you. This is the first time I'm going out with it. You know I like good things. <laughs> what do you have to say about Jane's recent promotion? I don't have anything to say about it. I mean, she's very hardworking and she's lucky to have such a promotion, do you? You think so? I think she's having an affair with the manager. Hell no. I know Jane too well. She's a staunch Christian and she will never compromise her Christianity. In our world now, you cannot get anything from either the manager or the board if you don't. Don't what? Jane is not what you think she is. I mean, come think of it. What would you achieve sleeping with the manager? <laughs> yeah, you just leave that thing. Anything is possible as long as you pay your dues. I don't want to argue about it, okay? Let's just keep our finger crushed. Rose, where's your mother? Where's your mother? Shut up, you mother of the house for me! Call me! What nonsense! visit and the threat was becoming embarrassing so i had to pay i'm sorry even at that you don't have right to do such a thing you have no right to do that you know how can you say a thing like that i gave you this money last month and all you could tell me was that you invested it in mmm of course am i denying it i invested it in mmm so i can make some money this month so after paying the house rent i will have some money to hold on to myself you know i've not been paid you listen to yourself just listen to yourself. You took 500,000 Naira, our money that should be used for house rent, and you invested it in Ponzi scheme, and you expected me to be happy about it. No. Like I said before, I had to do it to save us the shape of being thrown out of this house. You should have allowed me to sort it out the landlord first, instead of going behind me to go and pay the house rent. No, oh, I get it. No, 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 I understand. <laughs> you want the landlord and everybody to know you are the brethren in this house, right? Don't because I have not been paid, right? What? <sighs> Only how can you say this? You know that I did it. Don't shut up your mouth! You only tell me you did it for me. That's a lie! You did it for yourself. You did it just for your selfish interest, for your self-aggrandizement, just to boost your ego. You want to walk shoulder high just because you paid. Come on, house friend. What is wrong with you? Now let me warn you. This is the last time such a thing will happen in this house. If it ever happens again in this house, I will deal with you mercilessly. Fool. Please, don't use such abusive word for me. I am going to use it over and over again and nothing will happen. And let me warn you, if you don't take your time in this house, I'm going to stop it. Try this. Try this and I will make you regret every bit of it. No, no, no. Please forgive me, I'm sorry. Just forgive me, please. <laughs> 
Don't find a place in your heart to forgive me, please. I'm sorry. Don't forgive me, I'm sorry. The battle line is drawn. This is just the beginning, okay? So you had better wipe out those pretentious crocodile tears of yours because it does not move me. See, by the time I finish with you and your money, both of you will rot in hell. I know you. I know you've not been okay for some days now. I know when you're okay and when you're not. And I know it's not your menstrual flow. Why can't you believe me when I say that I'm fine? Because it's unbelievable. I know when you are okay. This is not the cheerful Jane I used to know. Okay, enough. You win. Hmm? Yes, I believe the fact that I've not been myself for some days now. But I would prefer to be left alone. I will, I will sort it out myself, okay? No problem if you insist, but you just know I miss the chair for you. I don't like this so I don't like it. What, what don't you understand? What? It's over three weeks since we made love last. Mm? So where is this to be lady that couples must make love before the moon turns out? Where? Don't you know that sex brings couples together? Mm? And makes their union stronger. And the Bible says... Hey! Don't bring the Bible to back up your nymphomaniac tendencies. Leave the Bible alone, please. Did you say that to me? Exactly. Yes, I did. Because you won't allow me to rest in this room. You won't allow me to have peace every time you sex in, sex out, sex up, sex down. Ah! Ah! Sorry. So you said it the second time and then the first time. 
If I recall vividly, this is the third time that this is happening. What is going on, Jane? I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I promise. Jane, 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 Jane. I beg on you. Talk to me. What is the problem? I have asked you several. You don't want to tell me. What is the problem, Jane? I am your boss and you can talk to me. Sir, if you must know, it is a family issue and it's meant to be between me and my husband. I don't think it's right for me to tell you, sir. But I promise I will be fine. I'll be fine, sir. Jane, I just want you to know that you can tell me anything, okay? Yes, sir. Please, sir. Can I go back to my office and to correct you? Yes, you going through all this all the road. You didn't bother to tell me. My dear, who will I talk to? That painful ordeal doesn't sound good to the ear at all. It's okay. I mean, you've been strong and you've moved on with your life. That's why he hates men. Easy. You hate men? Yes, I hate them with strong passion. Tell me, how can you feed a man, pay his rent, Take care of his kids, and all you could get as an appreciation is this? Come on, Lizzie. I've told you not to say this again. I don't like it. Please, I don't. Please, I will keep on saying it, and I won't stop saying it. I hate men. I have no man that me to be in his house, and I will never get married to a man. What? So you get married to a woman then? Lizzie. Whatever. May God have mercy on your soul. In fact, you need a deliverance. God! Mama, where is He went out for a meeting. He went out for a meeting? Yes. <laughs> and that's why he has refused picking my calls? Huh? Okay, woman. Listen and listen real good. Tell John your husband that next time I will be coming here for my money, I will come with the place. Yes, I will come with the place and I will deal with him mercilessly. By the time I will finish with him, he will regret the day he was born. It's a promise. I will make sure he smells the rock. It's a promise. How much is he for you? Oh, you're asking me? You're asking me? He's owing me 100,000 naira. 100 good thousand naira for months now. Was that agreement that he got to take the borrow that money from me? Enough. Then to pay, he is now finding it very difficult. Here is your check. I hope you know the consequences of bounce check. Go and cash your money. Uh -uh. You want to? You want? You want? You want to invite the, the whole neighborhood? Let him go and take his stars. Let him go and take his stars. He has a good wife like you. Rubbish. Tomorrow he will come for another one. I want to thank you so much for helping me pay up that debt. Honestly, it has been a burden for me. Never mind. It's not okay? But. What can I do for my husband? You really deserve more than that. Oh, you are such an angel and I love you so much. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> See that? You can we make love tonight? And tomorrow. Not again.
What is your problem? Can't you see I'm watching Bob? Why are you spinning around? Mommy, you didn't notice my new hairstyle. So what is it about your new hairstyle? Is that why I cannot concentrate on watch Bob? Please step aside. Oh, what is your problem? What is your problem? You made me miss the goal now. Eh? See, if you don't take your time in this house, I will do something very funny. Since you obviously allowed this Satan to use you, I will be safe behind the Satan. Please. 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 Navi pan with this position is not helping you. You can continue this way. See, I'm really tired. I don't know what to do. Just keep trying. It's going to work. How will you stay here crying over a man that is having a good time in his office? You can continue like this. Dizzy, I've tried. But things keep getting worse. Just keep on trying. Just keep trying. It may not be spontaneous, but it's going to work. Okay? I'm sorry to say, but it might sound like a bad advice. Just get yourself a sweet guy. I mean, a guy that's going to make you feel on top of the world. A guy that's going to make you special. Lazy. Yes. It's better than staying here crying all day for a man you don't know what he's doing outside. Just get yourself a sweet guy. Moreover, you don't know what he's doing over there. Huh? He's definitely having an affair outside. Men can go a day, or should I say, they can't, they can't stay too long without having sex. Believe me. It's the truth. Savior and our Lord Jesus Christ? Eh? I cannot have peace in my house because of ordinary birthday. 
What is all this nonsense?
Listening to yourself. Have this woman cast a spell on you or something? Come on. Why are you talking like this? Why are you giving me this devilish counsel? It's like I will start avoiding you. Why would you want to give me an advice that would tear my family apart? I am so disappointed in you. Anyway, I wouldn't have to stand here and preach this song to you. If you will excuse me. I have treated you 
He didn't just pay us, I know why he paid us. He why? paid us because he wants our vote in the forthcoming election. Hmm. Honey, stop. It's not true. He paid because the God wants him to pay. Okay? Well, I'm saying. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You don't know how angry <sighs> and how devastated I've been all this while I've been broke. Oh, Father, yeah? bless you. Thank you, Lord. Okay. You know what? Mm -hmm. This calls for celebration. Mm, okay, no problem. I can't wait. So tell me, where do we start from? Uh, I will start by leaving the house. First of all, we're going to the house today. Okay. Find a restaurant and right. have a lunch. As you can see, I'm good to go. <laughs> I love you too. Tell me your reason, whatever the reason may be, as it will be done. Yes, I, I know. I'm sorry. I didn't tell you because I never wanted anyone to catch on me to stay in back there. Moreover, I took the decision for our own good. Our own good? How yes. do you mean? Yes. You know, I needed time to take proper care of you. Yeah. And apart from the fact that they have started paying your salary, I was able to save some money that will sustain us in case I don't get another job so soon. Hmm? Meanwhile, I had a lot of temptations in that office. Yes, and the Bible says that if your finger will cause you to sin, just cut it off. And that's why I, I, I have to take the decision. Sorry. Well, it's okay. It's alright. The only thing I'm praying is that God will give you a better job than the one you had in Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I'm so excited. I thought you'd be mad at me. Oh, oh no. Are you sure? <laughs> Yeah, it's not necessary. I don't understand. What do you mean by that? Doctor, 
I just started having sex with my husband just last week. And we've not had sex for the past two months. So tell me, how can you be a pregnancy? Madam, madam, I, I see. Um, truth be told, I understand the perfect end of all the truth still remains that for us to clear our doubts on this issue right now, I think you need to run a pregnancy test. Doctor, like, like I said, to run a test is not important. Yes, it's not, it's not necessary. Get off. Wait a minute. Madam, we are still talking. Where is she going to?
How could Jane resign without even telling me? The worst of it all is that she doesn't even pick my calls. I think there is more to this than meets the eye. Anyway, she has a life to live. I think I should just let her be.
I am the young Lord, my trust is in you. Lily of the valley. Something is really wrong with my wife. She's been feeling uneasy these days. How can I help her out? God, please help me. has a drastic effect on the patient. Very, very drastic. Ranging from perforation of the womb, if not conducted properly, to incessant bleeding of the patient after the abortion and when the abortion is not conducted properly too. And above all, the loss of life. Doctor, doctor, I, I'm aware of that before coming to this place. But I still insist on having the abortion. Okay. I insist. Ethically, we don't just go into such without explaining the drastic effect coherently to the patient. I must explain it so that you understand what you're about to plunge into. Okay. One of the things abortion does to you, madam, is that it causes mental malady. I mean, you just kill someone and the person's blood will keep calling on you. You abort it. You know, when you abort, you kill. So the person will keep disturbing you, it may even cause, you know, insulin and of memory. And you have to understand that. Doctor, allow me to carry my cross. Oh. Just do your own and leave my path. Okay? Do your job and leave my path. Eh? Or don't you want to do your job? Madam, Madam, I will suggest you allow me to finish what I want. Finally, finally, going into abortion, turns you to a mother and which makes you a sinner. And the Bible tells me that all sinners will go to hell. Enough, doctor! Uh -uh. What is all this now? I'm here for you to do your business. Or do you think I didn't see other hospital before coming to this place and you're here preaching to me? The next thing you ask me how I make love to my husband or how I feed my, 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 my kids. What is all this? You're preaching me to give my life to Christ? Do you, do you know me? Do you know who I am? Excuse me! Madam!
Pray for one another so that your sins will be forgiven. We are the
Thank you. 